Today's already been such a good day. I'm so excited for what's to come. author ear reading. If you're new to my channel, I do writerly videos and vlogs, and if you're interested in that, subscribe! Today we're going to be talking about my publishing plan for 2023. So I did talk about my goals in the last video, however in this particular video I'm going to be taking you through the setup of my new monthly thing that I've created in order to track what I'm supposed to be doing when and try to plan everything out accordingly. So I am a author, an indie author, who's publishing my first book in May of this year. So if you haven't checked out my book, this is it. Uh, go follow me over on Instagram for more frequent updates. However, today we're going to be going over kind of what my uh, mindset is working with this particular board that I've set up and kind of how I want it to serve me. Now I've seen boards like this used before by particularly Bethany Atizada. I will link her YouTube channel down below where she sets up her writing goals, the big goals on sticky notes and puts them on months, um, a, a board with the months of the year on it. I have to finish setting up mine up today. All right, as you can see, I kind of played with it a little bit, but I'm gonna end up actually taking all these off so that I can put marker on this just pencil right here and actually put the months. Um, and I have to fix this midline right here because it went a little bit wonky. Alright, so I've set it all up each month of the year and then a later for next year or saving for when I actually know when I want to do it. Sorry, that's Timothy, my cat. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and set up all the sticky notes again and really think about it. So each of these sticky notes has a color representation. So just the, the pink is a Soul Chaser or Soul Chaser World project. So this is book one, this is book two, and I put the little two in the corner. This is a another romance project I'm working on that has a whole bunch of details that have now changed uh, pen name wise that I'm still working out. And then this blue one is for a new project that I've been plot pantsing. It, this video will come out soon, kind of when I've gone through the whole experience about what this is. Um, so that's kind of what these colors mean. I'm going to go ahead and plan them out. Now, not all of this is going to stay where it is. This is just an estimate and I could be very wrong. However, I've been trying I'm trying to work on always having something to draft or be writing like for this month I'm going to be rewriting book two which means that I will be working on writing a good portion of this and I'm writing here here and I'm writing here I'm not sure what I want to do for my November project yet it might we'll see it might be the blue sticky notes but I'm planning 
it's hard. Uh, it's not set in stone. Um, I'm not sure what project I want to work on for NaNoWriMo this year or if I want to participate in NaNo, but I love NaNo so I do want to. I'm just not sure which project I'll be working on because book two should be to the point where it's all done. It's just setting a date for release. Um, I think I'll probably do it in the new year rather than in November, but we'll see what I what I decide to do. As far as book one goes, I'm doing line edits currently, and then it's formatting, and then I'm ordering proof stuff, and then it's all launch stuff. If it has the two, it's for book two. So all launch stuff here, and then it's into book two stuff. I've got a little bit of my romance right here, and then I don't touch my romance again until here, because I've got so much going on here. So editing book two will actually take quite a bit of time, I think, and so I've given myself enough time as well as all the other stuff that goes along with that. So currently I'm set, I'm good and set for May 1st as my release date, which is amazing. I'm very excited about that. Now I'm hoping this board helps me to better estimate um, my goals for writing and kind of what I need to set in advance for certain things and for this quarter as you can see January, February, March I only have, I have the three projects still but it's all kind of um, different phases of the, the process so I'm excited to have this here to kind of guide me as to what I need to be working on. Now with that being said I'm going to finish this video off when I create a writing tracker for all of this stuff and put it into a planner or notebook but I'm not sure where I want to do that yet. I do have quite a big notebook stash however I don't feel like any of them are right for my writing tracker so I'm not sure what I want to do for that yet. As far as my writing tracker and this video goes I will finish it off when I create it. it might be later today, it might be another day. However, I am very excited about this board that I've created. It's very tailored to what I'm excited about. And of course, working on my novels. I've learned about myself recently that I always need to be drafting something. And this can be rewrites or the actual first draft or whatever, um, or a short story even, just as long as I'm writing and creating and working that muscle because editing for me uses a very different side of my creativity and I like creating this section of the book and not as much editing and this is a common thing I've seen across authors but I've also seen a lot of authors who love the editing phase. I'm not one of those people. I like it a lot more now that I've done it several times however it's still not my favorite part of the process drafting is so I'm trying to lean into that with my projects by always having something for me to write so that it's not just stagnant and I don't have that creative outlet. Hello everyone, me from the future. It is now February and I forgot that I had to finish filming this but I actually do have something to add. So I needed a planner for my writing and for my publishing goals and so I picked up this. It's just from the dollar store and it has like a couple pockets on the front and it says boss lady. It's not my favorite planner that I've ever bought but it works and I'm gonna kind of show you the basic layout. All right without spoiling too much over here I set up a tracker at the front here to track which days I'm doing which project, and I've color coordinated them. Um, this one's pink, purple for my writing, and blue for my plot pantsing. And then this is kind of the layout for the weekly. So I write my goals on the side here, and then on the days I kind of write where I should be at for the entire week. Now I'm finding this very helpful. I did originally have last year a writing planner. I'll actually grab it up. I'm honestly still in love with this um, cover. So much, so pretty. Like that typewriter. I love it so much. Um, sorry, my sticky notes were falling out there. However, I did fill it up and by the end of the quarter I was finding that I wasn't using it, which can be attributed to a few things, but I decided I still needed a writing planner and I was going to try again. This is a super simple planner that I've set up in here and the tracker is really easy to create so I'm hoping that I can stick with this and keep on task with my goals. 
As for the end of this video, I think this board can be very helpful if you're struggling to see clearly into the future of your goals for publishing or writing or anything that you're working on. And I'm excited. It's already been helping me kind of uh, keep things in my mind and work towards those goals. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe if you like writerly content, and I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye!